Have you ever faced issues like warping or sink marks in your injection molded parts? If yes, you're in the right place. Today, we'll explore Design for Manufacturability, DFM, guidelines in injection molding to help you avoid these common pitfalls. So, what is DFM in injection molding? DFM in injection molding involves designing products in such a way that they are easy to manufacture. It involves considering various factors like material selection, part geometry, and mold design. By focusing on DFM, you can ensure that your parts are produced efficiently and with high quality. In this video, we'll primarily focus on 10 DFM guidelines for mold design, which include wall thickness, draft angles, ribs and gussets, gate design, undercuts design, bosses design, corners and radii, parting line, hole design, and surface finish. Let's analyze them one by one. First up, let's talk about wall thickness. The recommended range for wall thickness in injection molded parts typically falls between 1.5 millimeters to 3 millimeters. Too thin walls can lead to warping or difficulties in filling the mold, while too thick walls can cause sink marks or extended cooling times. Designers should consider the recommended wall thickness for different materials to achieve optimal results. Next, draft angles. Draft angles are slight angles added to the vertical walls of a part to facilitate easy ejection from the mold. Typically, a draft angle of 1 to 2 degrees is recommended for most materials, but this can vary based on the specific material and part geometry. When designing, always consider the type of material and the geometry of your part. For instance, ABS might require a 1 degree draft, while more flexible materials could need a steeper angle. Incorporating the correct draft angles can greatly reduce the chances of damaging the part during ejection. Moving on, ribs and gussets. They are structural features added to the wall of a plastic part to give it more strength and or support. Keep rib thickness to about 60% of the wall thickness to prevent sink marks. Ensure they are properly spaced and aligned with the mold flow. If your part has a 2 mm wall thickness, ribs should ideally be around 1.2 mm thick to avoid creating sink marks and ensure proper cooling. Gates are the entry points for molten plastic into the mold cavity. There are different types of gates, like edge gates, pin gates, and fan gates. The location and size of the gate are essential. Poor placement can lead to issues like lug weld lines or air traps. A general tip is to place gates in thick sections of the part to ensure smooth flow and minimize defects. Placing a gate near a thin section can cause incomplete filling, leading to weak spots in the part. Let's talk about undercut design. Undercuts are those features in an injection molded part that prevent its ejection from the mold. It can complicate mold design and increase costs. To avoid this, try to minimize undercuts in your design. If necessary, Use side actions or sliding mechanisms to facilitate mold release. Instead of a deep groove that would require an undercut, consider using a series of smaller, more manageable features that don't impede mold opening. Another vital design aspect to consider is the bosses. It is a feature raised above a surface. Bosses are used for mounting or assembly points in parts. Ensure bosses have adequate support, usually by connecting them with ribs. The height to diameter ratio should be considered to avoid issues like sinking or voids. For instance, a boss with a height greater than twice its diameter should be reinforced with ribs to maintain structural integrity. Next is corner radius and radii. A corner radius or corner radii is a technical design term for simply rounding out or making smooth any sharp corner on a design. In injection mold design, it is important to avoid sharp corners as they can cause stress concentrations and cracks. Always use generous radii at corners. A radius of at least 0.5 times the wall thickness is a good rule of thumb. For example, if your part has a 2 mm wall thickness, aim for a corner radius of at least 1 mm to reduce stress and enhance flow. As for parting line, it is where the two halves of the mold meet. Carefully consider its placement to minimize flash and cosmetic defects. Align it with the natural lines of the part for the best results. Placing the parting line along a sharp edge or contour can help hide any potential flash, making it less noticeable. Hole design is a tricky aspect. Holes can be tricky, especially when it comes to their placement and size. Ensure holes are placed away from parting lines and have sufficient clearance from edges to prevent weak spots. For example, placing holes too close to the edges can weaken the part, leading to potential cracks during use. Finally, 
let's discuss surface finish. In plastic parts, surface finish refers to the texture of the plastic parts surface. Achieving different textures on plastic parts surfaces involves adding a surface finish to the injection mold. Injection mold surface finish is classified according to systems such as SPI and VDI, which include gloss, semi-gloss, matte, and textured surface finishes. Different injection mold surface finishes affect both the appearance and function of the part. It is advisable to consider the end use of the part when specifying finishes. An aesthetic part may require a smooth finish, while a textured finish may provide a better grip. For example, parts intended for handheld use may benefit from a textured finish to prevent slipping. To recap, we've discussed 10 essential DFM guidelines for mold design to facilitate seamless and efficient progress in your injection molding projects. Beyond just emphasizing aesthetics and innovation in plastic product development, designers need to keep an eye on design for manufacturability in injection molding. Creating a comprehensive DFM checklist is essential to quickly identify potential problems, streamline production time and costs, and ultimately ensure the delivery of high quality products. Rapid Direct boasts a professional injection molding team ready to offer expert support and assistance for your projects. Feel free to contact us for any inquiries or assistance you may need. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content like this. See you next time.